Right, I'm gonna just fly off the ceiling, bro. Come and have a look and see how we do it. So I did film that installation, but I think doing it in diagrammatic form is a bit more understandable and a bit simpler to uh, to understand. So let's start with the lighting circuit itself. We've got a um, floor plan here and we've got the consumer unit there just under the stairs. Right, now let's position some ceiling roses onto our plan. And then we need to install the wiring itself. So from the consumer unit, typically a 1.5 mil cable on a six amp breaker. We go from the, the consumer unit to the first ceiling rows to the second ceiling rows, to the third, fourth, and then however many you've got in your circuit. Obviously finishing the last one, it's not like a ring main that goes back to the consumer unit. Now getting to the ceiling rows itself, this is what the inside of one looks like, and you'll see four terminals there. The earth terminal, the line terminal, the loop, and the neutral. So let's finally look at the wiring of the ceiling rose itself. So you've got the live loop coming in either from a previous ceiling rose or the consumer unit. And then you've got the live loop out going to the next ceiling rose. Then the third wire is your switch wire. And that can be going to a one-way switch, a two-way switch, intermediate switch, whatever it happens to be. And you'll see there the earth cable of every cable coming into the ceiling rose connects to the earth block. For simplicity though, and to keep the diagram less cluttered, I'm gonna ignore the earth wire from here on in. So you live in and you live out, pretty much these just get joined together. So the neutrals of these two cables go into the neutral block, and similarly, the lives get joined together in the loop block. The switch wire straddles between the live terminal block and the loop terminal block. And the lamp itself from the ceiling rows connects to the live and to the neutral. So as you can see, a switch is inserted between the live and loop terminals, which gets between the live feed in and the lamp itself. And of course, being a switch wire, if you're using uh, brown and blue twin and earth, you need a little bit of brown tape or sleeving to note that that is actually a live wire and not a neutral. And adding the earths back in, that's what a finished ceiling rose should look like. Obviously the wires don't come in from the side, they'll come through the hole in the middle of the ceiling rows. But for the sake of clarity, we're just showing a side entry on our diagram there, so it's easier to see what's happening. But there you have it, that's how you do a lighting circuit and wire up your ceiling roses. Well, I hope that was useful and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.